GarageBand has just released a brand new sound pack called Beat Tape. It's a hip hop pack. Let's take a look. Hi, my name is Pete. Welcome to Studio Live today. Yes, we've got some brand new sounds for you to use in your GarageBand iOS project. So let's dive in and see what's up. To access the sound library here in GarageBand, just open a new project, go into the sound library, and you'll see the latest packs up the top here. We're going to tap on the Beat Tape pack. Now, this pack was likely released to coincide with the launch of iOS 16, but the good news is that you don't need iOS 16 to download the pack. If you're on iPad OS 15 or iOS 15 on your iPhones or your iPads, you can download the pack. Once in the sound library, we can preview the pack as I showed in the intro or to download. Just simply hit the get button. That will start downloading the pack and we'll be ready to check it out. Now, while that's downloading, you can hit pause to check out the description and all of the specs, but we'll go through in detail what you get in this pack. Included in the pack, we've got more than 240 new Apple loops in the hip hop genre. We've got six beat sequencer and drum kits, and we've got a live loops grid. So let's dive on into GarageBand and check them out. Let's start with the Apple loops. We'll hit done there and we'll grab a track here. Let's just throw an audio recorder track on here. It really doesn't matter because to get to your Apple loops, you need to tap in the top left on the track view and then hit the Apple loops button. And there you go, you've got access to all of the different loops and sounds that we have here in GarageBand. And don't forget, I've got a complete GarageBand iOS FAQ on my website, which is linked down in the description, as well as links to a whole bunch more videos to help you get up and running with GarageBand on your iPhone or your iPad. Now, the easiest way to get to just the new loops is to tap this filter by button and go to sound packs. And what you want to do is tap on the sound pack beat tape here, hit the filter by button again, hit the Apple loops button, and boom, we've got just the the loops here. Now these are all audio loops so you don't get any MIDI or drummer loops. They're all the blue audio loops and they're grouped in these different kind of themes. You can see we've got the cracking up, we've got the dog eat dog. They always have some interesting names, the dusty springs. And you can use these, you can mix and match them and you can have some fun. So let's just throw a couple of these in just to get a feel for what we've got on offer. To preview any of these sounds all we need to do is tap on the loop. And if it's a sound we're happy with, just tap and drag and drop it onto a blank track in your project. And now if we hit play. Very cool. Let's throw a little bit of kick and snare on this track. There's the kick. There's the snare. And let's find something interesting in this same sort of area, shall we? What have we got here? Oh, what about some vinyl space synths? What do they sound like? Oh, you can hear the vinyl crackle. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go with that. Let's bring that in here and put that maybe halfway through. Let's just sort of sample how this bit's going to sound. Not bad. So yeah, you can play around with that and you can mix and match and of course bring in your own other sounds, virtual instruments, your own audio recordings and you can just use bits of these. You can chop them up. You can do a whole bunch of stuff. And once again, heap of videos down in the description if you want to learn even more about using loops in GarageBand. Now, as well as the 240 plus Apple loops, we've got some new drum kits that we can play around with here. So to go to those, hit the new track button there, scroll over to drums. Now tap on the more sounds option. And what you can actually do is you've got your main categories here, but if you go to recently downloaded, you can actually go pack by pack. And if you scroll down, they're not in alphabetical order, unfortunately, but we'll find the beat tape. And here are our six different kits. So we've got chopped up, we've got clicks and sticks, we've got dust bowl, we've got precious gems, we've got spaced out and we've got studio cuts. So Let's just try one. What about clicks and sticks? This one sounds interesting. So we got some, got some kick drums. We got some snare, some claps. Uh, this one looks interesting. What does this do? Very cool. So you can play with these just like you can any other drum kit. The other thing you can do is use these in your beat sequencer to record in using that. So let's show you that now. The beat sequencer, once again, if we hit the plus button here, instead of going into your drums, just tap the beat sequencer here. And now we can select these kits as our beat sequencer kit. So once again, recently downloaded, scroll on down until we find the right one here, which is beat tape. And again, you can select from these. This time, let's go dust bowl and it will instantly start playing a bit of a groove. To record it in, hit record, and it will record along with your track. That kind of works. There's that cool synth. 
there you go. So once you hit the stop button there, it's actually recorded that sound in here using the beat sequencer. Now you can come in here and customize it. This is the fun of the beat sequencer. You can tap these on and off. You can create your own random funky beats or you can uh, program it. You can also hit the uh, dice button there and get uh, a random groove, which can sometimes work pretty darn well. So play around with that once again, beat sequence of video, all about how to use this down in the description. And finally, we have a new Live Loops grid. To get to this one in your new project, tap on Live Loops up the top here, scroll across until you find this, the beat tape. Now I've showed Live Loops before as well. And again, there's more videos down below if you want to learn about this, but in simplest form, we can play back a selection of loops here by tapping either on an entire column like this. Or what we can do is we can select different cells to kind of mix and match a few different sounds, a little something like this. And you can create some really interesting custom grooves here. You can also record in your own samples here. You can mix and match between your track view and your loops view. There's a whole bunch of stuff that you can do using live loops. It's a lot of fun, especially if you're starting out with GarageBand, jump in there and start experimenting. So there you have it, the brand new Beat Tape Hip Hop Pack here in GarageBand. Jump in, have a play with it. Let me know what you think of it. Maybe you can create yourself some cool sounds. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.